If you're still manually copying and pasting events between Google Calendar and ClickUp in 2025, you are literally throwing time and money away. Missed meetings, double bookings, and endless back and forth. Sounds familiar? Here's a simple fix that ended my scheduling nightmare for good, and it will work for you too. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Evie. And on this channel, I show you how to build simple systems that set you free so you can focus on what matters most. And today's video is a brand new step-by-step -step guide to syncing Google Calendar and ClickUp. Let's start by connecting your Google Calendar. And yes, the same way works for Outlook too. So let's start with the basic. The easiest I find, just click the calendar icon on the top left in your ClickUp in your browser. And from here, it is really simple. Click the Google Calendar. Yes, it works the same way for Outlook. Choose the specific account you want to connect to and just follow the steps to authenticate your Google account. Again, pro tip here, you can add multiple Google calendars in your calendar settings on the top right. You easily can add an additional Google calendar. You can also add your Outlook calendar right there too. You can connect multiple accounts. So why does that matter? It matters because this multiple calendar support means you see everything at a glance. For example, I am part of the Microsoft environment with the Outlook calendar because that's where a client of mine works and that's where they schedule our calls. I can pull this in directly into this calendar, even though here at Ask Evie, we use the Google environment. So that allows you to really have multiple calendars and multiple accounts and know exactly what your day to day looks like. Now, before we dive in, let me know in the comments, what's your biggest challenge that you faced because your calendar wasn't synced with ClickUp. I'd love to hear your stories and maybe even give you some advice. Let's see if you can do better. Let's talk about visibility and focus. In ClickUp's calendar view, you can find the calendar button on the top right. This is where you choose what you want to see in here. So for example, just need your client projects or do you only want to see your personal appointments? You have complete control. And considering I love using ClickUp Calendar to plan my week, I need to see a lot of things. So my standard setup actually is I show my business calendar. I also show my routine. Not to forget about Swift kick in the ads when I am popping in over with Amanda to learn more about Facebook ads. Need to see that. My personal, my calls that are going on. Um, don't need my travel and visits necessarily. Our shows, our automator, dominate, group coaching, any summits, any launches, any VIP growth lab appointments. And now suddenly you see where I actually have time to do anything. Where can I plug in any kind of client calls? Where can I plug in client work? And as you can see in my routine calendar, I still pay attention to actually have lunch and get my booty moving. With that, scheduling now really becomes a breeze. You can easily go right in here, do a task call with somebody. In this case, it is an event. Let's invite Libby to the event because that girl is my right hand. As you already can see, you can add your Google Meet to it. You can add a Zoom link. We usually use Zoom, which then means if you haven't connected your Zoom yet, it will ask you to connect your Zoom and get that integration going right here in ClickUp so you don't have to worry about this anymore. Not only that, people you invite to this event can be invited by email. They do not have to be part of your ClickUp 
you can add your any additional description or whatever else you need and then you just send the invite with that it creates a appointment in your Google Calendar adds your video call information to it and if you have AI note taker AI will pop in if you told it to and record your calls and appointments. So this is how easy you really can set reminders at locations if it's a personal meeting you can even attach files to your events everything stays synced so you're not scrambling for links and details before the call no more confusion no missed connections no late show ups to the call let's talk about a couple of advanced things that are now possible here in ClickUp calendar and their 2025 improvements this is really leveling up your setup with some advanced features and the latest improvements here in ClickUp. as i already said you have multi calendar sync you don't have to like i have done in the past connect your personal calendar to your business calendar to then show everything up no you can just connect your personal Gmail account and your business Gmail account and can choose which calendars you show. There's also a new troubleshooting panel right here in your ClickUp calendar to help resolve issues fast. Two things when it comes to issues. First of all, you have the sync button as you can tell with all of my calendars it is still syncing. You can resync at any given time. Just click that sync button right up there. You also can go into settings. Uh, you can check out what's new with the ClickUp calendar. You can report a problem, meaning it also grabs all of the information and you easily can send it to ClickUp to get help. They get a full on snapshot on what's happening and request other features. They have been really working a lot to make ClickUp calendar so much better than it was in the past. I think they actually did a full fledged rebuild. Not only that, you also have a planner tab into your sidebar where you can easily now go into the project management and task management based on what actually needs to get done. Let's talk about real world workflows and things we are doing. So where where does this matter? Where does your ClickUp calendar being connected to your Google Calendar matter? Content creators. I'm recording videos right now. I literally had this scheduled in my calendar to block out the time and focus on this and nothing else. Agencies. To be able to keep client meetings, project milestones, those internal check-ins, it's all visible. You can also see other people's calendars. So if I want to meet with Libby, I can see these bits and pieces where, cool, there is room right there, there is room right there. We are not scheduling calls on Saturday, but there's a whole bunch of room on Saturday. You can easily connect with your people and see when they are busy or when they're available for you. Solopreneurs, separate your business and personal, separate your calendars while still being able to see everything easily and effortlessly right in here. Now your calendars are talking to each other automatically and reliable. No more manual copying, no more missed meetings. And if this walkthrough saved you a headache or maybe three, smash that like button and subscribe for more no-nonsense automation tips and simple systems. Drop your question or integration struggles into the comments and let's build a system that scales together.